Okay, today we have the wonderful weather guard locks for the um, toolbox on the back of trucks, and we are going to try and rekey these. To get these apart, the first thing you have to do, there's a hardened washer in here that has a pin stuck into it. And some of these actually have a pin and then a uh, ball bearing underneath. So what you have to do is you have to use a punch and get this washer to turn. And we're going to do that real quick. What we're going to do, we're going to use a sharp punch and a hammer. And we're going to see if we can get this to turn a little bit. Okay, you're probably asking, well, why don't you drill that pin and then pop the ball bearing underneath it? Well, it turns into a mess when you do that. Um, what I do is I take a sharp punch, smack it into it like this, and then I angle it, just like you're taking off a shear bolt. And when you push it, it'll actually smack it down. Okay, so now you can see our detent in the washer has moved to about here. So what we are trying to do, try as, try as much. So what we're doing is we're gonna spin this around until we can see the screw here. And then this little hole is gonna have the dog in there that we're gonna depress. So we'll get it around to there and then show you how it works. Okay, so our washer is at the start position where it's supposed to be and you'll notice there's a little slot there well that slot has a little phillips screwdriver or screw that you need to pull out once we get that out then we can go ahead rotate the washer and get the plug out okay so we've rotated the washer and you can see right above my thumbnail you can see the indent that indent is right below this where the numbers are for the key and that is supposed to be up here um, we've rotated it around to there i mean first we took out the screw and now what we're going to do is it's kind of hard to see but if you push that in you can see that little little straight spot right there what we're going to do is I've got another one out here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a punch and you can see that dog right there. We're gonna push that back in and that will release the plug. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll try and take a picture of it halfway out. Okay, so we've poked in the dog. I call it the dog. And now the plug comes out. So then we're going to take the red cover off and get at our plug that has the wafers in it. Okay, we've taken out the dog on the end. And there's actually, down in here, there's a keeper wafer that you have to push in before you can get the plug out. So we're going to push it all the way out. Okay, so we've got our plug out and... This right here is the keeper wafer that I was talking about. Um, I'm not sure if there's actually, if you can access that through the bore or not. I just took a pick and pushed it down and then pushed it out. So now we're gonna pull our wafers, rekey this one so it's just like the other locks. Okay, we rekeyed our cylinder, we've put it back in, and then we have to stake these back. And I'll tell you how I did it. I used a 21 millimeter deep and I just kind of tapped it down, rotated it, tapped it again. You have to kind of make sure that you don't bow these out real bad because it has to fit into this. And if it bows out too bad, it's going to be screwed up. Okay, so now you can see the dog down in there. We're going to line that up. I put my key right about in the middle position. 
push this in. Now I'm going to take a pick and push in on the dog. Okay, so we've turned our key to the lock position. And now we're going to put our screw in. And this is what I found. I put it back to the normal position. And then push it up into the lock position. And then you're able to put that little screw in. Okay, so we have our original one. It's K771. And I just kind of hit this with a grinder real quick and then did a K771 on it too. Okay, here's where I get to do my lecture. If you don't put the numbers on there, you're going to be just like my buddy. I have a friend who says he doesn't care. Um, he's got the paperwork and he don't care what anybody else is going to do if they get screwed over or whatever. His name is Dick. My own thoughts are, don't be a dick. Put a freaking number on it. Make it easy for the next guy. We're all in this together. See you on the next one.